Hello everybody and welcome back to the Wattpad Book Club. My name is Phoenix and I am once again joined with the lovely Kenzie. Another Hello! I am so glad to be back once again! Yep, and we're reading more Toto Drama fan fictions! <laughs> yep, let's go! Alright, so the wheel has been spun in the last episode and we are going to read Noah X Cody, aka NoCo. Yep. Uh, we're returning to the book of Learning to Love You. Yet again. Yep. Uh, I believe... What the fuck happened last... They were just kind of chilling and getting to know each other a bit more. And yeah, Noah definitely much. has feelings for Cody. Uh-huh. So I'm wanting to see what happens in this one. This We're starting off on Ooh. Beach House Burnout. Beach House Burnout. Alright, let's see what I have around me so I can flip. <laughs> Alright. I'll use the necklace case. <laughs> okay. All right. Do you want to be the the grimoire seal or the barcode? I'll be the seal. Okay. Eh. Oh come on! It felt like in an area where I couldn't see. <laughs> okay, it's a seal. Okay. Okie dokie. All right. Beach house burnout. I woke up the next day with a tired groan. Cody was still rolled over on his side completely asleep. I did my best not to disturb him when I got up, but me getting off the bed made him roll over, allegedly disturbing him. We met, we met eye to tired eye. Myself in my pajamas groggily sitting up and him rolled over, not quite fully awake yet. God, sorry, dude. Didn't mean to wake you. I did my best not to stare at him, but it was hard. His his hair in the mornings is always very fluffy and childish. His eyes are droopy and innocent. As much as I compare him to, to a child, I, I realize that's not why I admire him. Thank God. I admire, <laughs> yeah, yes, I agree. I admire him because he is gentle, sympathetic, tolerant, and generally and genuinely beautiful. Ooh, Noah flirting. Ooh, flirty, flirty. <laughs> it's getting gay up in here. Very gay. The the gay auditor, the gaydar is off the charts right now. It, 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 it totally is. <laughs> Genuine beauty is often taken for granted. People mistake beauty as as people like Miss Miss Bubble Boob. What? And oh, Lindsay. Justin, who might be more feminine than me, and I'm gay as so. hell. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't with this. Man, we were throwing fucking shade immediately. Yeah. We're in paragraph four <laughs> right now. <laughs> <laughs> right. But if I had to choose between Cody and Justin. Cody would be the obvious answer because Mr. Male mod- model can't be deeper than a cereal bowl. Damn. <laughs> Which is honestly quite the turn off. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is great. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of turn off, I had to haul I had to haul ass to the showers before what? Cody was eye full of my unfortunate bone. What? No. <laughs> Wait, what? We just started! <laughs> what the heck? Yo! <laughs> I was not ready for this. No. <laughs> kind of want to see what the 13 comments are on this in this paragraph Same. after you finish reading it. I mean, it's his fault really, but not like I tell him that. That would be a rather graceless way to tell him how I feel. Just imagine it. No, you have a partner. <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> Thanks for sharing, Cody. But it's your fault. It's there. Excuse me. I mean, uh, I like you, Cody. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that'd be le- that'd be less than ideal. <laughs> By this time, Cody had fully wakened and sat up in my bed. I grabbed the key off the table in front and walked down the showers, erasing most signs of, of being of being aroused or aroused. <laughs> w- 
when I when I got back, Cody was gone. So he must so he must have went back to his room, leaving me to clean up his mess. Real kind of him. <laughs> After I managed to straighten my room to, to straighten my room up to to my personal liking, I went out for a breakfast smoothie. But upon entering the juice bar, the wafting set of pancakes filled my nose holes. And to my surprise, there was some sort of breakfast party out on the deck. These people are total nuts. It's like 8 in the morning. But sure enough, there was music coming from the sound system by the pool. And Tyler and Justin were dancing it up. One one better than the other. Poor Tyler kept falling into the pool. Damn, Tyler sucked ass right now. Right? The dude can't catch a break. <laughs> <laughs> Noah, welcome to the breakfast of losers. Of losers, Harold said, with his hideous face expressing no emotion. <laughs> Do you have to turn everything already uncool into something totally lame? I spat, walking past him. Luckily for Harold, Cordy hasn't risen from her chamber of insanity yet, so he could be exposed to daylight without being hunted down. Although it's hard to take sympathy on him when he's constantly flapping his annoying-ass lips and digging himself a deeper hole with everyone he meets. Anyway, the morning wasn't totally boring because Beth, ha- because Beth has been grilling p- pancakes all morning. So, so I was greeted by so I was greeted by a stack of the of the only edible food I've I've had since I got here, which, which I which I guess is a pretty cool deal with with, with the addition of shirtless guys dancing <laughs> by the pool and the fact that I spent the whole night with Cody. I guess I don't really. I guess I don't really have room to be bitter this morning. Damn, he gets Once breakfast co- and a show. Man, yeah. I wish I could get that. <laughs> same. Honestly, same. That, that, that would be so cool. Yeah. <laughs> Once Cody made his way to the deck, he, he, was, he, was, in, he was immediately shoving pancakes in his, in his mouth. Beth, these are so good, he squealed. Syrup dripping, uh, sy- syrup dripping off his chin. Owen was finishing... <laughs> His forty fifth pancakes at that at that same moment. <laughs> Typical Owen. Wait, when the fuck did Owen get here? <laughs> wait, wait, that's a really good question. Cause didn't he make it all the way to the end? Yeah, when when the fuck did Owen? What is he doing here? <laughs> what is he doing here? He just <laughs> ran over to the the Valle de Luz. He's like smelled the pancakes from the other island, so he ran over and yeah. got some. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I I agree. He he shouted with a mouthful, spraying pancake bits onto Cody. <laughs> and there goes my appetite. He said, setting his plastic fork down. As nice as this place is. Chris is still too cheap to get to get us real real cool tree. Oh, I mean, I mean, real 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 cutlery. <laughs> but I, but but can I but can I say I'm shocked? Not at all. After I had my fill of pancakes and modern music, I shimmied my my way back. I shimmied my way back to my room to turn on the trashiest. Rea- reality show I could find and cozy myself myself on the couch. In my mind, I felt like a snobbish princess Princess didn't care care for the outside world. But in reality, I am just a lowly loser who would rather watch forced relationships on TV than interact with anyone. Oh, not, not, not. Same. <laughs> Noah? D- damn it, I fell asleep again. It, 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 oh. Do you, want, do you want me to go ahead oh, and start yeah. reading? Oh, okay, yeah. Alright. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's open, I shouted through the door, <laughs> knowing it was Cody. He came in with wet, fresh-smelling hair with a pair of jean shorts I had never seen him wear. He was also wearing a thin poli- oh, polio tee with one of those front pockets. As dorky as his outfit was, he was quite adorable. <laughs> Sorry, Aww. man. Didn't mean to wake you. I just got bored, he said, sitting down opposite of me on the couch. I slung my legs down to make room for him. Well, what am I supposed to do about that? Anything that could be done at the pallet has been done. Cuddy shrugged, making his shirt cling to his bony body. That doesn't mean I can't be entertained. 
I roll my eyes at him, making him wince only slightly before chuckling. I'm lucky if someone... Oh, I'm lucky if something can hold your attention for more than an hour, I snarked. This time, he rolled his eyes. You're the same way, he accused, picking up one of the books from off the floor. I took the book out of his... <laughs> his likely... S- s- uh, what the fuck? <laughs> likely therapy syrupy hands. hands and placed it on my lap. <laughs> I'm not. Give me my book, and it... And it'll entertain me until I've read it, analyze it, and read it again. Cody shrugged again. I have read a book since 8th grade. Don't they make you read books in English class? I chuckled. That doesn't mean I read them, he smirked, trying to come off as more of a badass than it really was. Looks like we got a real rebel on our hands, I sneered. He laughed, and to my surprise, he laid down on the couch with me. His legs next to mine, and our torsos overlapped. His his over mine. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm having a hard time picturing it. <laughs> so, yeah. Like in somewhat. I, I, uh huh. Eh. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. <laughs> yeah. It's. I felt like I couldn't breathe. Just. I mm-hmm. shouldn't breathe just to not disturb him, even though he wasn't sleeping or anything. Will you read to me? He asked, handing me the book that was already in my lap. I held out the book and read the title. You want me to read you Animal Farm? <laughs> Are you supposed to read this? You're supposed to read this freshman year. <laughs> I was hoping the color in my face wasn't obvious, but it certainly didn't help that he nuzzled his head between my shoulder and the couch cushion to get a better view of the book. Something about it was really cute. Sure! Dude, this book is just a allegory for Soviet Russia. I stated, waving my copy of the book in front in the air in front of him. Animal Farm was one of my favorite novels from high school so far. I care less for Fahrenheit 451, but To Kill a Mockingbird has been my favorite so far. Unfortunately, I couldn't find that one while I was packing, so I didn't bring it. (laughs) I've never heard of Fahrenheit 451. (laughs) I don't know either. What? What is this? I never heard of well, uh, Animal Farm before either. I I read To yeah. Kill a Mockingbird in school, but that's it. Yeah, yeah, same here. Yeah, that was a fucking nerd. He went to. He probably went to fucking private school. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he he definitely did. He's giving off those vibes right now. He's giving privilege private school kid. Yeah, <laughs> private school kid. <laughs> exactly. I just want you to read while I nap. He said, doing the nuzzle thing again. You're such a kid, I muttered as I cracked open the cover of my worn book. About twenty minutes into the book, he had fallen asleep, his head wedged between me and the sofa. Instead of moving and letting him sleep, I read I kept reading out loud, for more of my own entertainment than anything else. But between the familiar words of the book and the warmth of Cody body, I realized that for the first time since I started dedicating myself to school, that I am in a, my happy place. Oh, it's sweet. Yeah. Aww. Also moment. I can't believe DJ got kicked off. Tyler mumbled by the pool. I narrowed my eyes over my book and shot in a Noah palented glare towards him. It's his own fault for being a pussy. I spat, earning myself what? a nasty looks from several other Damn, losers. Noah. That- <laughs> Bro oh got sc- to be fair, he did get scared of Heather with her make with her fucking I mean, uh, yeah, routine. That's true. I mean, true. <laughs> you were playing a several interesting game of water tag. Don't get me wrong, I defended casually. The guy's great, but he brought it on himself. Cody was laying on a lounge chair, trying way too hard to get a tan. Laying on the chairs next to him were Lindsay and Tyler. Lindsay had an admiration for Cody ever since he saved her, and Trent from the quicksand, but she only gave the attention to him when her lips weren't locked with Tyler's. <laughs> I forgot that Cody did that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but this time, Lindsay was sleeping in the sunshine, wearing her skimpy red be- bikini, and Tyler was in the chair next to her, but it was hard to say whether he was sleeping or unconscious again. Yo, Noah, what's the book? I turned my head to see the glittering eyes of Trent. After Trent got kicked off the show, he and Cody had done some awkward avoiding each other thing, so I I was safe from his small talk whenever I was with Cody. Unfortunately, now was not one of those times. 
Fantastic, I replied sarcastically, but Guitar Hero didn't pick up on my tone. Awesome, he replied, leaning back against the counter, earning him my trademark eye roll. I didn't say anything in return to him, but our conversation ended there. Unfortunately, the more Cody Tan, Trent talked, and everyone else argued in some way or another. My frustration levels were reaching its top. I went far enough to open my mouth, ready to scream, but I was interrupted by a roar, by a roar erupting from the volcano that most people call Eva. <laughs> <laughs> You guys are a bunch of weak ass wussies. <laughs> Don't you have anything better to do than sit around the pool and play water frisbee? <laughs> what? Oh my gosh. The pool went completely <laughs> silent and still. Everyone looked around and made sure they were a safe distance from Eva, who was standing at the edge of the pool. <laughs> Jesus. She just came out swaying. She just yeah. didn't want to deal with this shit anymore. <laughs> right. <laughs> Oh, this is great. Looks like oh looks like the boredom has finally gotten to us. To hear someone probably corny mutter, as insane as she is, what she said made sense to me. It's not like there's much to do here at the the palette, and being a loser really put a damper on things. Corny had gone over to Eva to try to calm her down, but she wasn't convinced and started yelling at Corny for being a traitor. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You all need to chill out, seriously, I protested. I walked through the water to get to the pool deck and went up to my room. My room where the only sane people, the only sane person lives. And if that wasn't clear enough, it's me. I'm the only sane one in this whole competition. <laughs> <laughs> he goes in there and Cody's just chilling. <laughs> I feel like that's a thing right. that's going to happen. <laughs> As I stormed off, I heard several others following me. So I know I'm not the only one being a drama queen. I marched my scrawny legs up the tile stairs and made my way down to my own room. I put the icing on to put the icing on the cake of the day when I reached into my pocket. My keys it wasn't flipping there. <laughs> right. Good grief, I yelled at the door, slamming my shoulder into it. Yo Noah, having some trouble? I heard Harold say from down the hall. Good observation. Do you want a treat? I spat, still knocking on my own door. Chill out, man. I was gonna offer you to pick the lock for you. I went to Criminal Steve's Escape Artist Camp last summer, and I'm an expert in picking locks. He would. <laughs> yeah, Harold's yeah, got he, like he Harold's got like an arsenal of skills for random situations. <laughs> I swear, if I roll my eyes back anymore, I could see my own brain kill itself. <laughs> Whatever. Go ahead. I sigh, stepping away from the door. He pulled out a hairpin from and some sort of magnifying glass out of his pocket and started going to town on my doorknob. Oh god, that came out wrong. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> anyway, oh, the dork actually gosh. opened the door, but it made a run for it right after he heard Courtney coming up the stairs. As soon as I got to my room, I put my keys in my pocket so I wouldn't have to resort to Harold again. Admittedly, I was having way more fun down at the pool than I would up here, but I'm petty, so I <laughs> so I had to make a scene as Stick in my and stick to my decision. <laughs> After considering a few options I had that could entertain me, I resorted to turning on the TV and burning myself out this with this week's trash re reality shows. About thirty minutes later, I was interrupted by a knock on my door. By this time, I had come familiar with the sound of Cody's knock, so I knew it was him. Come in! I yelled, too lazy to get off the couch. As <laughs> As expected, Cody came through the door, carrying my book that I unknowingly left at the pool. You forgot this, he said quietly, setting the book on top of my stack. He put it in the wrong pile, but I decided not to tell him that. <laughs> he looked especially pale and solemn, opposed to his usual optimism. Dude, what's wrong? I asked him, hoping I was coming off with genuine concern rather than a sarcastic tone. It's just... Trent and Gwen, and I know I set them up and all, and I want them to be happy, but he trailed off, and I was worried he was about to cry. I'm a nice guy. I deserve a happy ending, don't I? He finished, and I looked at him, his head dropped and his composure slouching. You'll get a happy ending. It just won't be with Gwen, I said after a pause. Cody looked down and took a seat next to me. He sat close, but not too close. You'll get it. When you're not looking for it, I added calmly. And mm -hmm. against my better judgment, I reached my arm up to put it around him. 
He probably wasn't thinking much about me, though, so I was probably safe. <laughs> You're right, he muttered, yeah. and he stood up. He walked yeah. towards my door and muttered something like, see you later, and slammed the door behind him. <laughs> Damn, what are we gonna get them romance? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I need it to happen. <laughs> exactly. Like, we got some stuff with them, but we haven't... It. Like, we've got a few hints, but that was about- but that's about it. I think we're gonna get it here, because the title of this one is called Slip of the Tongue. Oh, yeah! Ooh! Okay. Okay. I hesitated just for a second before I knocked on Cody's door. It'd been three hours since ev since anyone had seen him, and Cody isn't really the kind of guy to go M.I.A. <laughs> But I also didn't want to get on his bad side by interrupting his sulking time. But I knocked anyway, and was answered w with an unenthusiastic, Come in. Okay, dude, are you- Oh. Cody, dude, are you okay? I cautiously stepped into his room, trying to avoid his several Mountain Dew cans scattered across the room. Damn. <laughs> of course he has those there. <laughs> I'm I'm fine. I heard I heard him say I heard him say ma, ma monotoniously from from the bedroom. All the lights were out in his room, which made which made it almost eerie. When I entered his bedroom, I saw Cody sitting on the edge of the bed, looking out the window at the pool deck below. Cody, I whispered, <laughs> drawing near to the boy. He didn't move or turn or turn his bed, and the only light w and the only light was provided from the pool lights on the on the deck below. I'm glad she's hap I'm glad she's happy, he said after a slightly awkward silence. Cody, Gwen is Gwen is careless and cruel, and she doesn't deserve you. Facts. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that, honestly, yeah. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> that is that is true. I sat on the bed next to Cody. I sat really close. Close enough for me to put my scrawny ass arm around him. It if she's so undeserving, why does she get to live out happily, happily ever after with Trip while I'm constantly fighting for 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 her for her happiness without a without a lick of recognition or gratitude? I was shocked to hear that come come out of Little Cody's mouth, but it did. After he left the words ringing ringing in the air, he he turned his head towards me, obviously expecting an answer. Remember when, remember when we were talking about karma? Someday you'll realize that you have something that that made your efforts worth it. And Gwen? Perhaps one day she'll slave over someone else's happiness and receive nothing in return. And thus she did. Yes. <laughs> Two. <laughs> A couple seasons later. Yep, karma comes back one way or another. <laughs> mm-hmm. Cody turned away again. I'm too nice. If that happens, I'll only feel sorry for her, he mumbled. Each time he spoke, him, each time he, each time he, he spoke, his back shoulders latched a little more, making his head come closer and closer to my chest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she doesn't deserve your sympathy. She, she doesn't deserve your sympathy, I said. And, and I took, and then I took a chance. I drew his head onto my chest, chest and wrapped around my arms around his around his bony shoulders. <laughs> to my surprise, he leaned into the embrace and twisted his head to his face. To his face was hidden into into my sweatshirt. <laughs> From the gentle movements he he was making, I could tell he was crying. Aww. I'm I'm not too great at dealing with crying people. Me, me not being exactly empathetic. So not knowing what to do, I just gave him a few pats on the shoulder and continued holding him. I don't know how long we stayed like that, but, but we did until his sobs started started mellowing out and his breathing became calmer. Once he had completely stopped crying, he... Quick, once he had completely stopped crying and wiped his tears on my hoodie for good measure, he sat back up and moved his hair. He he let out a breath of, breath of air, but didn't say anything. We both just sat there, 
Looking into nothing. Feeling okay? I asked after a while. He nodded. Yeah, he croaked. Thanks, Noah. I, di I didn't know how you could be so, uh, comforting. <laughs> I shrugged. Once you have once you have moments like this and realize no one cares, you become a bit more sensitive. My parents never comfort me. I don't have friends back home that that have enough brains to understand understand emotions. I go through this by myself every time, but it's better when someone's holding you. Aww. What the fuck? I like I? the boy is going through so much and know at the beginning of this was like, now's my chance, I can make a move. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right. <laughs> For the first time I can remember, I wanted to cry, not because I was upset or or struck some sort of some sort of chord, but but, but because that was the saddest thing I have ever heard. Cody? Yeah, he hummed, his voice cracking. After we leave the playa, I'm going to give you my my cell number. Oh, Ooh. that you will always have someone to listen to. <laughs> After I said this, I saw the child childish gleam in his blue eyes flicker for just a moment. That... That is the nicest thing anyone's done for me! He... He turns me into such a softy. Alright. Do, do you want me to start reading the rest of this? Oh, oh yeah, sure. Alrighty. <laughs> You'll never have to suffer alone, I said, a smirk rising from the corner of my mouth. I didn't know what I was expecting after that. But what I got was a big hug, and that would have been the tackle if he wasn't so small. Aww. You're too kind to me, Noah, he said, his voice muffled into my shoulder. That's what love does to someone like me, I said, yep. without thinking. But then I realized what I just said. Oh, oh no! no! <laughs> Keep Wait. panic! Wait, what? He asked, sitting up. He cocked an eyebrow, questioning, but not in a... Snide way. I, I, uh, I didn't mean to say that out loud. I stammered, reaching my hand to my head. God, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I, I didn't, I didn't know you felt that way. He said quietly. I, I'm sorry. Was all I could force out of my fat mouth. Cody looked at me with giant eyes, but they weren't full of accusation or of mockery. If anything, he looked concerned. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> no! He like checks. Is like, do you have a fever? <laughs> yeah. You, you did you eat enough today? <laughs> you good? Yeah. Do you need to lay down? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, don't apologize. He said, forcing a friendly smile on his face. I guess it explains a lot. <gasps> Damn, we were not we were not hiding that good. <laughs> right. <laughs> I could feel myself blushing, but I, I was hoping the darkness of the room hid that from me. That obvious, huh? I asked. Kobe shrugged. Not that obvious. Unless I'm really oblivious. Probably the latter. I chuckled awkwardly. Tension still floating around in the air. So, he said, feeling the uncomfortable silence. I guess it would be rude for me not to acknowledge your feelings, he stammered, his voice cracking. <laughs> don't worry about it, Cody. I know you don't swing that way. Then his eyes met my wandering ones, and for the first time, I saw a mischievous glim in his eyes. <gasps> Ooh. <laughs> Just because I've never gone that way doesn't mean I won't, he smirked. Although, his smirk was more like a cocky smile. A crooked smile. <laughs> oh, crooked <laughs> Are you saying you're gay for me? I asked, accusingly, trying to sound sarcastic. But we all know I want the answer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure, honestly. I've thought about it before. I even had a dream about it once. Cody's down bad like Noah is. He really is. <laughs> oh my gosh. He started talking about his dream. We were in some crappy airplane going to Germany, and then in Germany we, we completed a stuff a giant sausage faster, and it started with me saying that he had a tiny sausage and then we ended up making out on the a side what? of Owen down the hill. <laughs> <laughs> cannon. <laughs> cannon. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, then. I chuckled. Oh, yeah. I was answering your question. 
Well, I don't, I don't know yet, I guess. I'm, I'm not ruling it out for sure, he shrugged. Honestly, that was way more than I was expecting. But to be fair, I wasn't planning on telling him in the first place, so I'm not sure what I was expecting. But it wasn't this. <laughs> and I can say that I'm pleasantly surprised. <laughs> Thanks, Cody. It, it means a lot, I said, smiling, trying to, trying to lighten up. Well, I don't want to be with Gwen, he said, smiling. You know, for a child of this guy, you are really mature. I looked into his eyes after I said that, and after I did, I could see the thrill enter his irises. Really? That's the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. He beamed, his <laughs> eyes widening like a puppy, like a puppy's might. I held in my feminine urge to giggle with his genuine adorableness. But Aww. I didn't do anything, and he didn't do anything. We just kind of sat there in another increasing awkward silence. So, <laughs> what do you want to... So, where do you want to go from here? He cut in eventually. As much as that question needed to be asked, I was hoping he wouldn't be the one to do it first. <laughs> to be fair, I could have prevented it by asking it myself, but I'm a total loose, so it wasn't going to happen. <laughs> you should be asking yourself that question, Cody. I said, doing my best to not sound sarcastic. But I'm Noah Santrica, so of course it was hard not to. <laughs> Why me? He defended, sounding almost nervous. He probably was nervous, and I couldn't blame him. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, dude, your best friend just admitted to being gay for you. No pressure or anything. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to make a choice, Cody, but I know what I want, and so... So, as soon as you do too, you let me know. I did my best not to sound harsh, but apparently I didn't have control over my tone. Do, do who knows what the little dude heard. That's fair, he said softly, laying down across the bed, his legs swinging off the side. I know you didn't mean to tell me, but, but thank out anyway? I guess thank you anyway, yeah. he muttered, sounding <laughs> sincere. At least he did control about what came out of his mouth. Impressively enough, I've, I have heard some deep shit come out of his mouth tonight. Shit, I didn't expect that to come out of the guy. <laughs> A few months ago, this guy meant little, meant less to me than the hair on Owen's butt. In a few weeks ago, he was nothing more than a minor company. But all the way until now, he's been a. Sh yeah, a shallow, childish wannabe. And now that I'm seeing him at his most vulnerable, I can see the things that have been floating around his head aren't that much different than what goes through mine. I mean, and <laughs> dicks to mine and Gwen to his, and that's where the one of the differences lie. <laughs> You're welcome, dude. <laughs> now, I, I would, I would do another chapter. But we kind of had to wrap it up. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, but what what, cool what what did you think? That was uh, so, honestly, that was pretty funny. But at the same time, it was kind of weird. Yeah. Well, we got a confession. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. Yeah, we uh, we got some Cody lore. Yeah. Apparently, <laughs> it, it might swing that way. Who knows? Yeah. Uh, well, I guess we can only go up from here. Maybe Cody will decide if he will choose Noah. Maybe yep. they'll try their best at a relationship. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> Not us. <laughs> <laughs> That's tr That's for sure. Yeah, but now it's time for everyone's favorite segment of Wattpad Book Club. Uh, with my regulars, at least. Uh, we get to spin the wheel, and that wheel determines how fucked we are the next time we get down to sit down and record. <laughs> Yay! Yeah, what fun, what fun. <laughs> okay, can you see the wheel? Yep. Alright. Right. As long as it doesn't land on NoCo again, we will do whatever the wheel says. Yes. Let's so spin that baby. It's spin. It's spin? Okay. <laughs> laggy. Uh, oh no! <laughs> oh! I get to pick! It's a pick! Let's go! Okay, well, I got a couple of ideas. So, 
Well, I, I won't say what I'm thinking. I, I won't even okay. tell you. I, I'll make sure okay. that at least it's not mature. That That's at least what I can promise. Okay, okay good, good, good. Thank <laughs> yeah, you. I will do that to you. <laughs> But I'm curious to see what you're gonna pick, though. Me too, honestly. I gotta do some research on what I want. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, I guess the next time, I'll, I'll bring out a random- well, at least the audience will know right before they click on the video, but you won't know. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, anyway, <laughs> my name is Phoenix, this is Kenzie, and I guess we'll see you guys next time for another Wattpad Book Club leading. <laughs> yep. Bye! Bye!